Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. So, yesterday night we talked about confessions, how to confess, when to confess, what to confess, um, why to confess, um, <clears throat> and different things like that. This morning, and you know, I always go with my uh, coconut oil. But <laughs> well, this morning, we're going to talk about how to find a spouse. How to find a spouse. There are several ways to find a spouse. There are several areas, I guess, or places, demographic places, that will help you find a spouse. We'll discuss those things. And we, we always uh, like to put the purpose in these videos. The purpose is to encourage and inspire people to get and or stay married right. we love marriage we love our marriage we love to see other people happy through their marriage right. and if you're not happy that's okay uh, you can use some of the strength that we have in our marriage to to get married so we always like to let me add this person give me a few seconds okay so we always encourage people look at my fingers at least they're not ashy right to get and stay not married good. So, how do you find a spouse? I know what you heard in church. You know, in order to, he that find is a wife. He that find, he is, he. You got to put the emphasis on the pronoun. He that find is a wife. <laughs> you, tell people, you got to tell people, you know, there's more than one scripture on marriage. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, and uh, I, I know we all, you know, we live in a very traditional uh, uh, society, society, and even the church world, like, right. uh, so you, you got to realize you got to be able to think for yourself. It's Correct. okay to, to you know, there are certain things that the collective corporate body can do that the individual cannot, and vice versa. There are certain things that the corporate can do that the or cannot do rather that the individual has to take upon themselves. And finding a spouse is one of them. I, first thing I recommend is that they think like you. I recommend that your spouse thinks like you. If they think like you, then it'll be a lot easier. Less, less arguments. A lot of less, <laughs> a lot of less arguments. Right. So what do I mean when I say that? I mean, uh, you know, literally like think like you. Um, you you got to find somebody who is okay with you for you. If, if you hear me and Saran talk, we often talk about, uh, you know, things that are that would in somebody else's relationship would be hurtful right you know what i mean and so we we always be we got to be mindful of you know i don't go too far because i'm not trying to cut you but we also got to be mindful that you know uh or we, we she she celebrates me she likes me she thinks the way I, i'm thinking if i was in church i would say you got to be equally yoked what is a yoke first of all okay so back in the olden days going back going back, 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 back. right we, we didn't have mechanized farms Right. right, and the niggas didn't own farms. In, sorry, black people didn't own farms anyway. I don't want to get too crazy. In the morning, it's the morning. At night, you get ratchet. But in the morning, I don't want to get that ratchet. Uh, but we didn't have mechanized farms, so they used animals, and they just happened to use oxen. And they put a piece of wood between the two oxen so that they can work together. If you ever seen like a horse and carriage, if you ever seen a, a carriage with more than one horse, you know that piece of wood. That's called the yoke, right? So if you got one strong animal on the on one side and then on the other side you have a not strong animal that is the definition of being unequally yoked so you have to take it in context and say okay so if that's what unequally yoked means then i have to make sure that i find somebody comparable to me right comparable to me to me to me to me and i want somebody who can compliment me sharon does that very well i'm big she little <laughs> I'm smart. She's serious, or I'm 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 funny, brother. She's serious. We both kind of smart. <laughs> you know what I mean? To say here. <laughs> so it, it's like uh, it's, it, everything that we do, complement each other. And there are some areas because just remember, right. you're not gonna find the perfect spouse. And if you do find them and you marry them, <laughs> they are no longer perfect because right. you're not a perfect person. So you just have to remember that. So how you found a spouse? Number one is to make sure that you guys are on the same wavelength as it relates to each other, you know, and make sure you compliment each other. Right. If one of y'all is ugly, then 
to, uh, to, to, so that this world doesn't suffer with a whole lot of ugly children. One of y'all got to be halfway decent. <laughs> you know what I mean? So what is your opinion on you know, how to find a spouse or this particular viewpoint? Um, I totally agree with you. I think you have to have a lot more in common than you think. And especially the important things that's important to you, um, you need to have in common. So right. once Religion. again, I'm all about writing things down. Money. When you write things down, you can see it clear and plain. You can. And so before I even got in a relationship, I wrote down what I wanted. We legit do this. Sometimes we don't even know what we want. Right. So you jump in a relationship, you don't know what you want. So how are you going to expect the other person to know what you want? Right. That's something you need to discuss before marriage. Right. So, um, write your goals down. What you want in a marriage? Now, watch this. Sharon is a master's student, right? And then before that, she has two other degrees. So, this is going. she's working on her third degree. She's a writer. I'm not that guy. <laughs> you feel me? But what I can do is I can think about it constantly. I might not write it down. But I might think like, oh, okay, I need her to have, you know, a big booty, you know? And watch. Particularly women. There's this fantasy that Disney has created in your mind about marriage, right? Or that TV, not just Disney, but TV, has created in your mind about marriage. So you have to be cognizant of the fact that, and set a realistic expectation. Mm -hmm. we, we always want you to have your expectations reasonable. And, you know, so sometimes you may have to lower them. And in certain cases, you may have to do, 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 raise that up. You should be expecting a little more. We don't want you to ever lower your sincerity. We want people to be sincere about you, and we want them to understand, you know, right. that you are a good person. But, you know, let them lower their expectations of you and lower your expectations of them. You know what I mean? You might be looking for tall, dark, and handsome, and you might get that. You know what I mean? But if, if frumpy, rumpy, and dumpy will rub your feet at night, frumpy, rumpy, and dumpy who you need to be choosing. You hear me? So, uh, give your perspective on money. I'm getting ready to go get this baby. Give me a few <laughs> seconds here. So, um, far as um, just piggybacking on what he was saying, um, that's part of just having your goals written down. What, what do you want? And then sometimes, what are you willing to compromise on um, if you can't get everything that you want? Because we all don't get everything that we want. But what, what are some things that you could compromise on? Like, all right, we all want a man who's wealthy, who has it all put together. But that's not always realistic. So um, what are some things you can do? You could compromise on that because you could gain wealth. That's something you could gain. You can, together. Right. But you can't, it's hard to gain someone's character. Like certain character flaws that come with someone is how they are. Like one person that I've, um, I was doing some research and they were saying that it's hard to change a person. I think sometimes women... We go in like, oh, he'll change. I'm he's just, change, yeah. He's just young. I know he's, he's killing immature. people now, but he ain't going to kill people once I'm with him. Uh, you need to <laughs> reevaluate that. I don't know about no killer, but. Right. Um, <laughs> I ain't no killer, but don't push me. But what I'm trying to say is sometimes we, in our head, we go, we ignore the signs. Like certain things that we don't like when we meet someone. And we don't discuss it or anything. We just ignore it and say, oh, they'll, they'll grow out of that. Right. That's not true. What you see is what you're going to get. So Period. that's their character. That's who they are. And um, so you have to believe it. I think Maya Angelou said something like that. When, when somebody, somebody shows, shows you who they, they are, are, believe them the first time. You have to believe time. them. You have to believe them. You have to believe them. So don't think they're going to change, especially men. They don't really, you know, I mean, they change, but they change when they're ready to Over change. Over time, right. Right. And they have to be ready. We don't get to decide, oh, okay, now you're going to change. Right. So I think that's one of my things. Also, I think... When you're dating, you should be thinking about it like an interview. I think a lot of people don't do that. I'm serious. It sounds crazy, but you need to think about it like an interview. Like you're interviewing someone to be your potential mate for the rest of your life. You need to take this seriously. This is who you're going to be with for the rest of your life. Right. That's the problem. We don't take it seriously. Right. We think about the, like you said, the Walt Disney, the putting on a dress, especially the young women, putting on a nice, beautiful dress. Right. We think about our wedding, how big, where we want to have mm -hmm. it at. But we don't think about marriage in the long term right and if you want a party you could just go to a random prom like just wait to the season <laughs> you feel me exactly so if that sounds preposterous the, the the idea of you getting married for the celebration is just as preposterous we always like to parenthetically insert the purpose of these videos Correct. it is to encourage and inspire to people to get and or stay married we also wanted to address any fears that people may have 
Uh, of course, we have it. This is an open dialogue. We do not in any way want to make it seem like uh, this is a, uh, uh, just us talking. Uh, but we notice in the mornings, we, you know, when it ain't as ratchet, you know, the comments kind of less. But it's just fine because sometimes, you know, it's your time to listen and, and receive. Uh, so uh, today's message or today's lesson or today's episode, which is way more appropriate because we're not clinical psychologists. <laughs> we, don't, we don't do none of that. You know what I mean? So all we do is let you into our relationship. Sharon and I are perfect in the marriage or in the, uh, not the marriage, but perfect in the area fidelity. of fidelity, meaning that we have never cheated on each other. And we are strong in the area of marriage. We're not perfect. You don't see us on here talking about kids, do you? Right? Because I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I have figured out how not to cheat on my wife. Right. And uh, uh, well, there's a few things that we on uh, here is talking about. But I figured out how not to cheat on my wife. Taking the certain precautions. and that. So you also need to, 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 to how to find a spouse. Uh, how to found, find a spouse. Uh, you have to uh, act and walk as if you are already married. That might seem weird, right? Because mm -hmm. your body... It's calling. Right, and we, we love that song. Oh, I love that song. <laughs> Sharon don't like the same music as me, which is one of the reasons I'd be feeling like, what? <laughs> anyway, so you, you have to walk and act as if you're already married. What does that mean? Okay, so the other day I talked to a, a person and I said to them, um, um, you know, my wife is a wife. And, and she was like, huh? What, what does that mean? I said, well, I think you not understanding that is kind of sad. Only because if I told you uh, that this girl's a thought, you know what I mean? It, it, we would have been laughing together. You would have understood what I meant. You know what I mean? Because what's understood don't need to be explained. Correct. But she needed further explanation uh, on what did I mean by, you know, she's a wife. Do you mean she cooks and she cleans? No. There are, like Sharon said, uh, certain character traits that husbands look for. Now, I realize every man out here is not a husband. Some people are Spacavellis, is that even, that might be lame, but I'm pretty sure, I don't know if y'all know what a Spacavelli is, mm -hmm. uh, but some people out here are side dudes, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so, if you don't want to be that guy, or you, you, you don't want to be married to that guy, because that guy will not have the same character traits as you. Right. You have to uh, walk, my, my original point, walk as if you are already married. So if you're not married and you desire to be married, go to where the husbands are. Right? So what does that mean? Okay. If you want some milk, where do you go? The store. To the store. Right? And if you want uh, some clothes, where do you go? To, to the mall. Well, I go online. They got dating online too, right? But you, you have to go where the husbands are. Where do husbands hang? I'm a husband. Hey, I'm not the greatest husband, but I am a husband. Mm -hmm. I went to church. I went to, I went to church. Right. right? And you can tell the husbands when you get there. Just like you can tell the thoughts when you get to church. You're like, oh, yeah, that, that's a thought. <laughs> you could tell the husbands when you get to church, right? And uh, I'm talking about, uh, when I say husbands, I mean people with certain characteristic traits. Mm -hmm. And they be looking for wives. Like, I was looking for a wife for, for a minute, you know what I mean? For a minute. Like, I, I, I was looking for a wife for a minute. I wanted, I wanted uh, you know, my, my, my spouse very bad. I was in the choir, like, praying, like, God, please, you got to send me somebody. You know what right. I mean? So what he did was he changed my, my thought processes. Uh, the scripture says it like this, the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord and he turns it whatsoever he wills. Uh, so what he did was he created in me a thirst first because I didn't want to, you know, because some people who don't drink water, you know what I mean? Water's one of the best things for you. I think you're, you're like 70% water, 75% water. But if all you do is drink juice and pop all day, you, you have to let that go for a little bit. Uh, and so and, and if you refuse to drink water, you thirst to come around. You will be thirsty enough where you feel like, you know what? This water tastes good. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> so he had to prepare a thirst in me right, first. Right. And once I was thirsty enough and I was parched, like, <sighs> <laughs> then he sent the wife. Then he sent the water. Right. Now I'm never thirsty again. Like, right. And then that has its own set of, of, of precautions too because familiarity breeds contempt you don't want that to be you like you don't want to you don't want you to be so familiar with your wife that you that you don't date her don't respect her you know what i mean but that's how you do it you have to make sure that you are your presentation is right and 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 not just a presentation because that's important too you want to make sure that's right 
But more importantly, you, you want to make sure that it's legitimately you. You want to make sure that, <laughs> I know my, my mouth, I'm like maybe eating fried chicken. <laughs> Anyway, you want to make sure that's legitimately you. Like, before you get married, you want to make sure that you become a good person. Correct. What's the fastest way to, be, to get a husband? Become a wife. Mm-hmm. What's the fastest way to get a wife? Become a husband. Become a husband. You know what I mean? Become the husband that... Be, look, I had to become the wife. I had to become the husband for the wife that I wanted. You feel me? I had to become the husband for the wife that I wanted. And so, that's, now that's your job. You got to figure out... What what kind of husband do I want? Right. Right. Without creating this, you know, delusions fantasy. of grandeur. Fantasy. Another good thing. Not to and become that person. Not to cut you off, babe. But hang out with what you want. Um, it's the same concept, just like anything else. If you want to be rich, hang out with wealthy mm-hmm. people. If you want to be whatever you want to be, you got to hang around those people. So what I did was I got some married friends. Now right. you think. That's kind of insane because you're single. Why are you hanging out with married people? Because right. I desire to be married. I don't right. want to be single. I need to hang out with someone that can show me. I need to see what that looks like. Right. So hang out with a lot of married people, a lot of older people that were married, so I can see what it looks like over a period of time. Right. And um, I think that kind of helps you. It kind of helps build your character. It kind of helps to see what you should be looking for because right. they've already been through this. So. If you could read a book or if you could see someone else's lives and see the mistakes that they make and you can learn from those mistakes, right. why not? You so that's what it is. Training. I train my young girls. I have two girls and I train them now how to be a wife. Wives. It starts when you're younger. How yes. to be a wife. Even with my daughter, she's only one. <laughs> but I'll be like folding clothes. And she'll grab the clothes and start folding. And this is not how to be a wife, but it's just a component. But she's understanding right. is what I'm saying. She's already patterned after me. Right. And she wants to do what I'm doing. She wants to be cooking. She wants to, you know, whatever. She right. wants to do what I do. Um, and so that's, and that's where it starts. It starts when you're younger. But if you don't have that when you're younger, because everybody don't have that, then you have to get around someone who does have it when you get older. Yeah. And you don't have to get around individuals if, if that's not you. Because I realize, you know, like, even my friends now, like, even, I, I, Sharon's basically my, my friend. Like, that's pretty much, I've chosen to deal with it. I have some bodybuilding friends, and we work out associates. together. Sure, but oh, you might be good for my associates. muscles, but you, you're, if you're not good for my marriage, I'm not with that. You mm-hmm. feel me? So, I have associates, you know what I mean? Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's one of the good things that, that, that we did. So, what I did was I kind of, you know, went to church, because I realized that's where the wives are. And so he had to prepare thirst for me. But I also sat back and watched the husbands and how they treated their wives. You know right. what I mean? I went to different churches, too. You know what I mean? And I was like, oh, man, they, you know, they don't even go to the same church together. And some people rock like that, though. Yeah. Some people, it, they rock and roll like that. Like, right. we don't go to the same church, but get out of our business. Like, and I'm with that. You know, right. if, if you faithful to your wife. And it works for you. If hey. it works for you. Yeah, I mean, we, we, know, we all know freaking gurus. We don't know everything. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But I, for me and my wife, we sleep in the same bed every night. Every night, yeah, I mean, there's been exceptions where I slept on the couch, though. You know, uh, there's some times <laughs> when she slept on the couch. What? Yes, it happens. You know what I mean? And then there are some times where, uh, uh, where, where we get, you know, angry at each other. And I, I the people are like, "You never go to sleep, mad." I don't have that testimony, uh, but I never woke up like that. Right. You feel me? And that's my man, uh, Gary Brandley, uh, senior, who, who taught me that one. He, uh, he, he never. He said, I, 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 you know, I go to bed bad plenty of days. I don't wake up bad. You know what I mean? So that's how I feel, too. So we always want to parenthetically insert the purpose here. The purpose is to encourage people to get and stay married. Uh, we will also want to address any fears and have an open dialogue about, you know, uh, uh, marriage in particular. Uh, so today's episode is about, you know, how to find a spouse. Number one, you have to, uh, uh, what was my first point? Your first point. I don't know what your first you gotta point. listen to your spouse. That's number one. <laughs> <I didn't> listen. <laughs> <Didn't> listen. <laughs> right, but you you have to make sure that you're you're you're, you're modeling the behavior that you want. So right. if you would thought and you know if you would thought or not, because you know, then you have to start you slowly switching that up. Like switch that up because don't nobody want no thought. Don't nobody want a male whore and don't nobody want a female whore. Like you know what I mean. Uh, and you could be a prostitute before, you know, you get married, right? 
But, you know, when you get married, prostitution, that's not cool. You feel me? Right. You, have, you want to make sure you augment your, your lifestyle right. to, to accommodate who you with for, for men and women. You know what I mean? They're, that's why I've never cheated on my wife. Because I was taught, like, you know, there's going to be some days where you, you, you do want to stick your donut in some more coffee. Like, and there's going to be some days where you want to bust their head to the white meat. But go sit down. Like, go sit down and, and figure it out. And, you know, but, but uh, I ain't in love no more. Uh, love is a feeling. And you ain't fasting. So your feelings are lied to you anyway. And I can tell by the way you spend your money. So go sit and down. And then you have to get yourself around the that group of people you like you you know i see a lot of people i want to be i want to be a, a wife and a husband but they're not around wives and husbands at right. all and so everybody don't have that role model some people they may come from a single family home mm -hmm. or whatever your case might be so you might not have that where you was able to grow up with it so you have to find it you do and so i know like even for you you sit underneath a, a good good bishop now, that might not be everybody's story. It doesn't have to necessarily be a bishop, but someone that you admire that's already married and is doing well. Right. Get up underneath them. Be their friend. Talk and to them every now and be then. Be quiet and listen. Mm -hmm. You feel me? It was my time to listen. I listened for about five or six years before my wife ended up you know, coming to me. And don't let somebody tell you, you got to get out in order to do We are saying that. We are saying that, but... You know what what happened for them it might not be written in your story right, so that's true. enjoy your present moment you know enjoy being single while you're single if you're single enjoy being married you know tell do the little stuff for your wife in the morning it's like help her brush her teeth you know you because you're gonna wake up to some stanky <laughs> breath i'm talking about what in the world did you what, did you fart uh, it's, yeah. it's, 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 you know you just have to just you know Take it like you know. What I mean, just but just understand like <laughs> real life is different. Right. Like, you got to be able to roll with changes. If you're adaptable to change, you will do well. You will do very, mm -hmm. very, very. And that's very one of the well. characters that you could work on before marriage. Being adaptable to change. Some mm -hmm. people I know. Listen, I ain't gonna say her name because I love her. But this person eats the same meal every single day, <laughs> and they ain't. <laughs> Eating nothing else. You feel right, me? Right. I don't care what it's doing to my body. <laughs> I don't care what you think about me. I don't care what you want to eat if you over here. I'm right. eating this. Right. And, and I, as a matter of fact, somebody took her on a date and she refused <laughs> to get out the car. Mm? Now y'all know who I'm talking about. <laughs> well, everybody don't know, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it's like, no, no, no. See, that's why you're single right now. <laughs> I can, you know, I, there's your problem right there. You're not adaptable to change. You got to be able to do what other people like. You feel me? Right. I don't, Compromise. Shimon watches a lot of Ratchet TV. She watches uh, Medical House of House of what? Atlanta. <laughs> Housewives of Atlanta. House of Atlanta. And then there's a medical show you watch. Married to Medicine. Married to Medicine. I don't like that stuff. You feel me? But I know who Portia is. I know who <laughs> Phaedra is and Kendra. I know, I know the characters. I know the, the do Kenya. <laughs> I know the doctors on there. I know the girl who sings. What I need from you is understanding. I, I know those people because I, I want to, I want, I'm adaptable to change. And Sharon also watches LeBron and them. Like, we, you know what I mean? She right. also is into some of the stuff that I'm into. And I'm telling you, listen, we go to Youngstown from Columbus soon. And where we live, it takes two hours and 45 minutes. I don't care if you speed, it takes two hours and 45 minutes. That's how long it takes. You feel me? <laughs> That's how, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> it takes two hours and 45 minutes. See, David, David, David can worship, legit worship for, for two hours and 45 minutes there and two hours and 45 minutes back. I don't have to talk. I would put some John P. Key in. I will put uh, anything on. Now, what if I was married to a thought? This would be hell on earth to her. Because she, <laughs> like, she would be feeling like, I don't want to do that. You feel Let's me? Let's put in Chris Brown. Which is fine. Chris you, which Brown. Which is fine. <laughs> which is fine. But my personality type, I could worship there. Right. And I could worship back. We, well, you know, we talk as a family. But they'd be asleep all the time. All the time. <laughs> they go to the sleepy time all the time. So, I'd be, you know, I'd be, I could worship there and back. So if my wife didn't didn't take that as a like a you know a, a, if she didn't find that attractive or if she didn't right. think that was a good character trait, That's gonna be a it problem. would be hell on earth for her. Right. So if I was going to continue to be married to her, I might be a worshiper. You know, I might want to give him glory. But if it's making my wife mad, then you won't be giving him glory doing that, will you? No, you won't be. 
So you have to switch it up. You have to put some uh, Chris Brown on, some Wale. You have to put on some Tupac, whatever, whatever. You, you have to guys have to like, share Wale the Wale is not like, you know, he's pretty decent. But I'm saying it's not worship. No, no. But he's my man too. I listen to Wale all the time. You feel me? I listen to Wale. I, I right. mess with Wale for real, for real. And uh, uh, I would have to do that in order for my marriage to work. Right, right. right. Because what you learn in church is how to be the best Christian you could be, right? But and you should be learning other stuff too. But what you should be interested in is how to be the best spouse you can be. And me being the best spouse means that I got to watch the hood rats of Atlanta. And so I watch them. <laughs> I watch them. I watch them. And I, be, I, I, I understand all the characters. I don't understand all the stuff they do, but I, they making money. So who am I to be hating on them? You hear me. You know what I mean? And some of them got some big booties too. But anyway, so we always like to parenthetically insert the, the, the purpose of these uh, and of course, it is to encourage, to inspire uh, people to get and or stay married. We also like to address any fears and dispel any notions that you may have uh, prior to getting married. If you do need a, like a video study, my man's name is W as in William, F as in Frank Harley, like the motorcycle, W F Harley. He has a video study. Uh, he has six videos on his book. His, his book is called uh, His Needs, Her Needs, if you are a book reader. Uh, but each video is right around like 18 minutes long. So, you know, everybody got a couple minutes that they can spend in their day on that. Uh, even if you're not married, uh, you will notice when you click the videos on, it's really like marriage counseling. But if you're, if you're not married, you can take his perspective uh, and apply yours to it. He talked right. about some stuff that I feel like I'm not with that, Mr. Harley. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and you will know, like, know when you get on We always that. say, I'm not with eat that. the meat and leave the bones. Leave the bones. So. So take it with a grain of salt. Right. Uh, but we are going to wrap this up and we're going to have some special events coming up. Yes, so uh, please subscribe night. so that we can get your information. Mm -hmm. I always say this every video. We're not going to spam your email. Right. We're not going to send you anything that's inappropriate. No we way. just want to tell you about the events, different things that's going on. Um, and also make sure you share this video because yeah. it can really help someone else. And that's our whole purpose is to help Oops. married couples or couples that's in a relationship to stay married and help them with their issues. Yes. So the only way we can do that is if you guys please share our video. Yes. Um, we would greatly appreciate it. And some people have already shared our video and we appreciate you yes. and we love you guys and thanks for supporting us. Yesterday's video confession had 19 shares. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was a very good, informative video. I, it was one of my favorites actually, other than uh, marriage and porn. Marriage and porn had yeah, about, it was up there. It was a lot of views. People like porn. Mm -hmm. Me too. So, so we might do a part two on that. We might do a part it's two. There's a lot of people out here that And if he was watching this. Confessions yesterday, <laughs> that really was kind of the part two. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, got, I mean, it didn't get super ratchet, but it, it, it got informative. Also, uh, for date night, if I reach out to you, and I appreciate the people who have already told me, you know, mine's any strong as yours. But if I, if I do reach out to you, uh, keep in mind that we're going to be open and candid on our discussions. And you just be honest. Let me know. You know, I mean, you won't offend me. I won't feel like, but we needed you. No, <laughs> but we would, if I, if I reach out to you, it's because, you know, you were on my mind and my heart mm -hmm. and, um, t tell me the truth, please, please. Right. And so, uh, uh until next time, uh, I get off at uh, 11 tonight. So their broadcast tonight will be at 1130. And, uh, until next time we do love you. Bye-bye.